Hey guys, I'm Matt from Leo's Vacation Center, and today we're taking a look at the 2018 Fleetwood Bounder 36F. This is a brand new floor plan, bunk beds with two full bathrooms. This is great. They made this in the Fleetwood Storm, and now they've taken this floor plan to the all new Fleetwood Bounders, so it's a, a step up, a little bit higher trim level. Uh, new for 2018 is the new paint scheme. It's this plumbing color. Uh, there's three exterior color choices that you can choose from that you see on the screen. Full body paint. Also with Fleetwoods, with the Bounders, you get the F21 package, which is also gonna be different. Um, it makes it so it's uh, bottom heavy, not top heavy. So when you make a fast turn, you're not gonna be swaying like this. Also, you get these bigger exterior compartment doors, which I'll show you in a second. Also, just so everybody knows, the Fleetwood Bounder has the Ford V10 engine on the F53 chassis. It is a 22,000 pound chassis. So that means it has the 22.5 inch tires, which is great. It's gonna give you a lot smoother ride. And then the total GVWR for this is 26,000 pounds even. So let me show you the compartment doors. This one's the propane. And you can tell because of there's no lock on the outside. I'll show you the TV in a second. You have a nice storage door there. They're all aluminum slam latch doors, which is great. classic Fleetwood Bounder, which I think looks great. You have frameless windows right there, a nice armless awning, which goes all the way out. Also, there is rain sensors in that awning, not rain sensors, wind sensors. And then you do have an outside TV with entertainment, speakers and a DVD CD player. Coming around back, your ladder's right here. That's where you hook up the extension. Your backup camera is right there. Here's a hitch. It's an 8,000 pound hitch. Uh, that's what the hitch is rated for. Doesn't mean you can tow 8,000 pounds. Everybody's gonna tell you you can tow 5,000 pounds. But if, if you're careful, you can go over a little bit. Um, talk to your dealer about that first before you do that. Um, everybody's gonna tell you 5,000 pounds, but the hitch is rated for 8,000 pounds. Also, the total length of this is 38 feet 9 inches, uh, tip to tip. It is 50 amp service because there's two AC units. And this is where you store your power cord right there. There's a hole right there, as you can see. Coming over here, this is where your uh, docking station is. You have your black tank flush, uh, your gray and black tank dump valves right there. It's where you hook up everything you need. To finish up the outside, we'll finish up with the front. As you can see, this is your uh, bounder look. This is the way the bounders looked for the last couple of years. You have your Fleetwood emblem here. Really nice looking front. I love the LED daytime running lights there. Uh, you have a big windshield, the Fleetwood logo up top, and just a beautiful RV on the outside, but even better looking on the inside. So we're gonna take a look. Great, so before we take a look at the inside, I wanna take a quick second and thank Eddie Bauer for sponsoring my YouTube channel. They're a great corporation with great gear. They give me, they supply me with everything I'm wearing on my show. So uh, thanks Eddie Bauer for sponsoring such a small YouTube channel, supporting small local family owned businesses. And we're gonna take a look at the inside. So we're gonna start with the cockpit area because this is by far the best cockpit out of any Class A gas motorhome. I just love the way it looks. You have two screens here on both sides, your left and right blinker there, and your radio, uh, XM radio, satellite system over there. Uh, right here you do have your auto leveling jacks, push of a button. And really what I like about this is everything is within arm's reach. Uh, great cockpit area while you're driving down the road, you're going to be very comfortable. Then over here you have the passenger seat area. This goes, opens up like this, you have a nice table to work with. You have uh, drink cup holders right there. 
uh, your lights and another cup holder right here. You have both daytime shades, MCDs, and nighttime shades, which is great. Also, a hidden little feature, that is a drawer right there, which is awesome. Also, the captain's chairs here, they both swivel, and they have nice embroidery of the Fleetwood logo on them, or the Fleetwood emblem. Emblem or logo? Leave a comment. Let me know what that is. Emblem or logo? Great. So we'll start up front, right here by the dinette. You have two storage things. Uh, that right there, and then these are drawers that pull out. New for the 2018 Part 2, uh, the dinette's the same, but uh, if you've guys seen the older Bounders, putting this down to make a guest bed was the biggest pain in the butt, and they've improved that, which is great. Now, you just go like this, and you push down, you go like that, obviously the seat belts go away, bam, that is a lot easier, and it's a lot better guest bed, great, and you lock it into place, you have two cup holders there, a huge window, uh, both windows can open up right there, and then, you do have storage underneath the dinette. Coming to the other side of the kitchen here, you have nice solid surface countertops, a residential sink, nice sink toppers with a deep stainless steel sink. You have a backsplash there, tile backsplash starting there over here. You have a window right here looking out at the campsite. Uh, that's a big deal. A lot of people ask about that. And then you have a place for your trash can there. Some storage underneath. There is a water heater bypass switch right there, which will be great for winterization. And then you have four drawers right there. And then you have a nice oven right here with a three burner stove top with the stove top cover on it nice solid surface you have a microwave convection oven and then two cabinets right about here good for plenty of storage also you do have your privacy blinds right there and then you have a nice residential refrigerator this is samsung you have a fridge two doors on top and then a nice huge freezer, just like the ones you might have at your house. And then what's great, this is an all-electric refrigerator. It runs off a 2,000 watt inverter. That means there's two batteries dedicated to, this art, to the refrigerator itself. And here's what's great. Let me show you the auto gen start. This right here is the auto gen start. Uh, and you, you know an RV has it when it has the residential refrigerator. So here's what it does. This is controlled off of time, temperature, or voltage. So if you're somewhere dry camping and um, the fridge is running off batteries, if the batteries run too low on voltage, then the generator can automatically kick on, recharge the batteries, and shut off. Also, you can do it based off of time. If you're at like a state park and they have quiet hours and you don't want to run it before then. Also, temperature. So if you have any pets like I do, I take my cat camping with me, but if you have any dogs or pets and let's say you're at a campground and you leave for the day and you have it set on temperature for like 80 degrees and the RV is 70 degrees in here and let's say the campground catches on fire or loses power and now you have no power to your RV well once it gets a certain temperature in here uh, the auto generator auto gen start will kick on so your AC unit can kick on again which is a great feature especially for you pet lovers all right, now for living room area. This answers everybody's questions that they've always had. Sofa is facing directly across from the TV. Great concept and floor plan. This is what everybody's been asking about. No more turning your neck to watch the TV. Uh, this sofa, the legs do kick out. And it does make, I believe, yep does jackknife to make a guest bed. You have two cup holders there, three cabinets above here. That's your uh, satellite system, 
Also your Blu-ray DVD player. And then right across is your TV. You have a nice TV storage, a little bit of a DVD storage above there. And then you do have a fireplace and this fireplace does put out heat. So if it's like 50 degrees and you don't want to burn through your propane, that produces heat from electricity, which is great. And then right here is the bunk beds. This is great. You have your ladders there. One ladder's for here, one ladder's for that bunk over there uh, above the cab. Well, these, the reason why these have been very popular is because a lot of people use them as convertible space. So if the kids or the grandkids don't come with you, you take this, you flip it up, and it locks in place, and it doubles as a wardrobe. And then when they do come with you, you just drop it down, and you and you bring it. That's why bunk bed models have been very, very popular lately. Also, a lot of dog show customers have been buying bunk models to put their dog crates there. And then you do have a little bit of storage underneath the bunk beds. And then across from the bunk beds here, you have a TV and some more cabinets. Here's the TV, a little bit of storage there and up here, and then the bathroom, first bathroom's right over here. Great, this is a very spacious bathroom. You have your toilet right here, and you have plenty of space, plenty of arm room. It is elevated some, so you're not all the way low. You have a full shower right here, and then your sink right there with a medicine cabinet and a mirror right there, and it even comes with this nice picture. So now we're in the master bedroom. You have a nice king-size bed, which is awesome. It's on a slide out. Also, that full wall slide uh, ends right here, so it gives you a nice spacious bedroom. You have two uh, power, 12 volt powers here. Also, two USB cords for your phone charger. Then everybody gets a light, and then you have storage above the bed. Also, the bed lifts up, and you can store some stuff under the bed. And then across, you have your TV right here on a door, so it's not taken away from any storage. You have four huge drawers right here. Actually, you have a fifth one underneath there. Right here's a drawer. And then this. Very, very nice. And then we're gonna finish up with the master bathroom. You have a nice shower. Here, it's even bigger than that middle shower. A little bit bigger, a little bit wider. You have a nice toilet, again, elevated. I didn't mention this about that first toilet, but right here, um, push button to flush. It is prepped for a washer-dryer combo right there. That is an option, you can get it from the factory. A ton of countertop room, sink right here, there's a little bit of power. Two medicine cabinets up there. And this is great because this is your own personal bathroom where your guest can use the middle full bathroom and they don't need to use your shower either. Great, so now you're probably wondering the price. I can't say it on YouTube, but if you send me an email, matt at leosrv.com, I will give you all the pricing on the Fleetwood Bounder products. But please remember, always buy from your local dealership. If you live in Maryland or one of the surrounding states, I would love to sell you an RV. But if you don't, I highly recommend you buy from your local dealership. Uh, trust me, I'll save you in the long run. Also, even if you don't live in Maryland, I can still answer any questions for you. Feel free, send me an email. It's matt at leosrv.com or give me a call or send me a text. My cell phone number is 301-906-0962. If this is one of your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I love to make videos. I feel like I do them very thoroughly with a lot of details. Um, so if you like that, uh, feel free to subscribe, and if you uh, go on our website, leosrv.com, and you want a video on something I haven't yet made a video on, just send me an email, and I'll get one on right away, and then I'll send you a link to it. Uh, one more big thanks to Eddie Bauer for sponsoring my YouTube channel. If you guys like outdoor gear, check them out, eddiebauer.com. And, yeah, click on one of my videos, check out another video, give me a call or a text, and I'll see you guys next time.